of what came before this, and I'm not really going to dwell on it, but holy hell, there were two matches before this. It was one of the most embarrassing, ridiculous, shameful, shitty, trashy, vulgar things I have ever seen. I guess in some effort to rip off or borrow from the WWE Attitude Era or something, which I didn't watch much of either because it was garbage. Guys running around in jock straps, jamming their opponents into their crotches. I mean, just, oh, just embarrassed. I feel embarrassed for you. I have secondhand shame for people who watch and enjoy that type of stuff and call themselves wrestling fans. You, sir, are no wrestling fan. Now, this next part of the news is going to make me a little hot. Bear with me. I don't even like putting this on my show. Here it is. Finaki rode down on the on the Cyber Fight Festival. I did not watch this part of this match. On a little bicycle, almost looked like a girl's bicycle with a basket on the front. Ha ha har har. Isn't that funny? Isn't that so funny? Isn't that hilarious to take a man as accomplished as Funaki and put him on a little bicycle like Dorothy on The Wizard of Oz and have him ride down the ramp almost like he's incapable of riding a bicycle, doesn't know what the brakes are, runs into his own teammates. I... This is a sample of DDT being ridiculous, embarrassing, stupid, and insulting. This is like someone reached out of my screen and slapped me across the face and said, dumbass wrestling fan. That's what this is. Watching this makes me cringe and makes me embarrassed for professional wrestling. Makes me embarrassed and ashamed. And I, I just want to tuck my head like people who lose championship games, you know, and, and just walk back into the dugout or the clubhouse and wish that I could forget what just happened. Masakatsu Funaki was the one who did the standard Keno match bicycle spot when he came cycling down the ramp, looking a little wobbly. I think Funaki is more used to motorbikes than pedal bikes. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine being used to a motorcycle instead of a sappy-looking bicycle with a basket on the front. And he collided, he wanted to collide with Daisuke Sasaki, who Manabu Soya was holding. Unfortunately, he collided with Manabu Soya instead. Stupid. Until... Junakiyama, the mighty man who is so angry at Nakajima for slapping the shit out of Endo and knocking his ass out, needs to have that same passion by getting rid of the stupid trash that they do in DDT. Get rid of that, Mr. Respect Wrestling. Get rid of it. Show us you're the man you claim to be. And I know I don't want to see videos of Misawa or anything else putting some mask on with a giant nose and ramming it up someone's ass. I don't care who did that nonsense. I don't care if the, every one of the four pillars went to DDT and participated in silly nonsense. It's still trash. I don't care if Ric Flair did it, Hardy Race did it. They didn't. I don't care if they did. I don't care if Stone Cold Steve Austin did it. I don't care if Billy Robinson did it. I don't care who did it. It's trash. Just because a great professional wrestler does something trashy, stupid, ugly, ridiculous, and <clears throat> hawking up snot balls on professional wrestling doesn't mean it's okay. It is trash. And if I'm the last man standing on that mountain holding that banner, then I will be the last man standing on that mountain holding that banner. It's trash.